Hello from the small window on your screen. This is Adam Turtletow from the Healthcare Compliance Association. I'm joined today by Erica Bull, who's the Privacy Officer for the Colorado Department of Healthcare Policy and Financing. She's here today as the primary architect of the privacy track at the Compliance Institute, which will be taking place in San Diego from March 30th till April 2nd. Uh, Erica, first, thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for your help with the program. Can you tell the folks watching something about uh, the thinking that helped you pick the sessions for the privacy track? Hi, Adam. Yeah, sure. It's great to be here. We uh, have a lot of great submissions coming this year. Obviously, as everyone knows, privacy and security are very hot topics these days. Uh, so we looked for uh, sessions that would help explain some of the harder-to-understand topics with like, for instance, HIPAA's uh, new final rule that came into compliance in September of last year. We looked for speakers uh, that could really relate with the audience and teach them um, some of those fundamentals of privacy and security that we needed, that we thought the audience wanted to hear. That sounds great. So you've already alluded to it a bit. So, so what, what are some of the other hot topics that uh, are really out there in the privacy world today? Sure. Well, as I mentioned, uh, in privacy, part of privacy obviously is security. And with all of the recent news headlines with Target Breach and uh, Neiman Marcus and everything that's going on in the security world, um, we fortuitously, fortuitously perhaps, uh, have a segment on Sunday, three hours devoted to security fundamentals, hot topics, things that are going on and how to best protect your um, your protected health information or other confidential information from hackers. Uh, so we have that session coming up on Sunday. We also have HIPAA 101 to help people walk through the new rules. A lot of changes occurred last September. Some people are familiar with them, um, but others it's going to be new to them. Uh, other hot things, hot topics that we looked at, we looked at, uh, there's a lot of confusion, for instance, when you get into the research world. So the difference between uh, the IRB rules and what HIPAA requires for some of those research protocols. So we have a session uh, dealing specifically with that. Uh, HIPAA's new rule came out with what's called the breach notification rule, which most people know about now, but there's a new standard out there that's uh, being referred to as low pro co. So that's how you determine whether a breach uh, is a reportable breach to the feds or not. So that's a really uh, an area of difficulty for a lot of people, how to kind of assess the new requirements by the feds figure out how to determine if you have a reportable breach or not, and then the steps to take. So we've got Frank Rulas doing a great uh, presentation on that. Um, we have something kind of different this year. We have a business associate uh, coming in to speak to us in one of our sessions. So Webb Hall from uh, Iron Mountain is going to come talk to us from the business perspective, or the, excuse me, the business associate perspective. So what's it look like for all of these new vendors uh, who've been brought into the fold of having to be in compliance with HIPAA since September 23rd of last year. So a lot of new and exciting topics. So, sounds great. You mentioned uh, Frank Wells, who, of course, is always on the social network, uh, ETCA net, answering privacy questions. You're doing Compliance 101, I mean, uh, Privacy Compliance 101, correct? Correct. And then Web Hall. Any other notables people should have their eyes open for? Yeah, we have some great new speakers this time um, that are that are stepping up to the plate, like I said, with the security fundamentals. We have some new people there. Uh, we, of course, have Linda Sanchez coming from the Office for Civil Rights. We always have our, office, our OCR federal speakers. Um, so she's coming to speak on two different topics. She'll be with us talking about the audit programs and kind of an update to what they're doing going forward in 2014. Uh, but she'll also be giving us the enforcement up, update since David Holtzman, who many may remember, uh, left OCR for, for private practice. So. Uh, We'll be hearing from Linda on that. We have a couple people. Um, I said we had Webb Hall Paul coming in from the business associate side. Um, we have Adam Green, who many people know from Davis Wright and Tremaine. He's coming to talk to us about mobile app compliance, another hot topic. Um, and some other great speakers. Sounds great. And I think really ties into a lot of the issues that uh, organizations not only in healthcare but across industry are facing today. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us, Erica, and all of your help, obviously, in putting this program together. Thank you to all of you who took the time to watch and listen, and I look forward to seeing you in San Diego March 30th to April 2nd at the 2014 Compliance Institute. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Adam.